Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Do you love fruit-based hot sauces? Well, if you do, I uh, really have a good one for you guys today. Now, this is another product from Tahiti Joe's Hot Sauces from Mr. Joe Turner, located down there in West Palm Beach, Florida. He is getting ready this March to celebrate 20 years in the business. Just has an awesome lineup of hot sauces. There is something for everybody with his Tahiti Joe's Hot Sauce line and his Maui Pepper uh, Company line, which is more of the fruit-based hot sauces. And that's where I have one for, for you guys today. This is uh, Maui Pepper Company's Berry Mangalo uh, Mango Hot Sauce. Beautiful looking label on that. Check that out. And once again, this is from uh, Tahiti Joe's Hot Sauces. Uh, let me go ahead and read uh, what it says. A little bit harder to read uh, the bottle. I'm going to read it off the website, but he always has these stories on the side of his bottles here, but it says, Aloha Wahini's Mr. Berry Mangalo has handpicked his favorite hot little tasty berries to appear with him at the Copo Cabana. They are so hot they will make Lola scream and make you scream for more ice cream. A berry Mangalo is the fruitiest hot sauce that has hit your taste buds in the tropics. They will all be appearing in your mouth real soon. Okay, now, uh, uh, the ingredients on this just really sound awesome. Uh, we start off with vinegar, mangoes, and then may contain any three of the following berries. Uh, blueberry, strawberry, marionberry, boysenberry, blackberry, or red raspberry. So any three of those. Sugar, apple juice, honey, habanero pepper, sea salt, natural spices, and natural gum. Now, just a beautiful, colorful looking label on this one. And check out this uh, color. It's got a, a little bit of a thin, loose uh, consistency to it, but it's got a nice, rich, dark, you know, fruit color that's most likely going to be coming from, you know, blackberries and um, blueberries and so forth. And one other kind of berry that's in here. I don't know which three are in here, but uh, it's got a nice looking color to it. You can see some of the uh, pieces of the, of the berries floating around in there along with some other spices. All right, well, let's go ahead and check this one out. <clears throat> now on the aroma, it doesn't come across vinegary. It doesn't come across overly sweet, but it's got a nice rich, uh, you know, berry uh, aroma to it. A little bit of spiciness from the, from the peppers that are in here. A little bit of sweetness from, you know, the apple juice and honey. Uh, vinegar is the first ingredient, but you know, you don't smell vinegar at all. All right, let's check this one out. Nice pour to it. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. What I really like about this sauce is that it doesn't come across as overly sweet like a candy sweet sweetness. It is not that way at all. You get a nice natural sweetness coming from a blend of those three different berries. Um, it kind of tastes like it's, you know, it's got, you know, definitely probably has the blueberry in it or the blackberry or maybe the red raspberry. That's kind of what's coming across to me. Um, but it's not too sweet. It has a sugar, apple juice and honey, but it's not coming across as too sweet at all. I mean, I would say that this is very, very delicious. <laughs> I mean, really, really good. Um, a salted good uh, does seem to have a, a little bit high sodium, but it doesn't come across as tasting that way. It's listed at 120 milligrams, but it doesn't, doesn't come across as being too salty. Uh, just a nice spiciness to it, but a real rich, upfront, forward um, berry uh, flavor, you know, and aroma coming across on it. It's not vinegary at all. Um, not too spicy. He's got this one rated um, all the way up there at kind of a hot, but it's not coming across as too spicy at all. Now, what I think is really, really good to use a uh, fruit-based hot sauce on, especially one that's one of the darker fruits like raspberries or blueberries or blackberries, is to put this stuff on beef, on lamb. It works very well. Don't have a picture for you today. I think this would also be awesome on certain desserts, uh, on ice cream. I think it would also work well on, on toast, a bagel uh, with, you know, with cream cheese or even butter and just putting this on there. Probably work well on waffles. Uh, so there's a lot that you could do with this particular sauce. But I do find that this type of sauce 
works really, really good on grilled beef, on steaks. Um, so I think it would also work well on the lighter meats, you know, on chicken, on pork, shrimp as well. So really, really good. A nice flavor on this one. I, I think this has won some awards in the past. I don't know which ones, but I think it has. Um, the flavor, I'll give this a strong 9 out of 10. Very, very good. Uh, from Tahiti Joe's, the, his Maui Pepper Company line. Uh, heat, um, it's just really not coming across as, as too much heat. I'm thinking two to three category. I think I'll give it about a three out of 10 for heat, uh, but uh, awesome flavor. Check this stuff out, guys. Uh, you will not be disappointed. He's got his Tahiti Joe's line, his Maui Company line, hot sauces. He, gets, he has salsas.